Welcome everyone! In this video, we are in the Retro Cup, showcasing some more fun battles featuring Dragonite. Dragonite on a double dragon team in the Retro Cup. It is quite risky, I must say guys, because there are a lot of strong ice types running rampant in the Retro Cup. But what is life without challenging yourself, taking a little bit of risk, and having fun while you do it? So we're running double dragons in the Retro Cup, and Dragonite uh, is the first dragon of the Dragon Duo on this Retro Cup team. It's going to be uh, serving as the closer, uh, because Dragonite performs much better with shields. So the idea is to preserve your shields for Dragonite. Uh, as you safe swap into Altaria on the neutral and losing leads, of course, as with any ABB style team, you are swapping out on those neutral leads as well as, of course, the losing leads uh, into Altaria. Altaria is going to be the safe swap uh, with this double dragon backline. Dragon Breath is so overpowered, it just shreds. It shreds anything that is not resisting it. Um, and even depending on the Pokemon, even if it is resisted, it's still doing tons of damage. So very powerful backline. Altaria uh, is ranked extremely high on PP Poke overall. It beats just about everything in this meta, but with the exception of the strong ice types, of course. And for that reason, we've got a fighter on the lead. Probably my favorite fighter to use in this Retro Cup meta, and that is none other than Primeape on the lead. Primeape is amazing. I did feature it earlier this week, and I had so much fun with Primeape. I had to run it again, this time on the lead. Um, in the previous team, it was the safe swap. Functions extremely well as a safe swap, but we are running it on the lead with this team. And of course, we are running Ice Punch Night Slash. You could go close combat on the lead, but I think uh, Ice Punch and Night Slash give you the, the broadest coverage uh, on whatever you may face on the lead. Primeape is amazing. Those counters with Stab absolutely chunk. So if you're met with uh, one of those strong Ice types, they better watch out, I'm telling you. But uh, without further ado, let's hop into these battles. And before we get into the featured set of the video, we're going to start things off with a few bonus battles that I thought were tons of fun. And here we go. Metacham lead, neutral lead. So we're going into Dragonite, actually. Um, you can actually safe swap into either one. I just found myself primarily safe swapping Altaria. But it really depends on uh, the Pokemon and what fast move they're using. Um, I figured we could get the jump on this Metacham. Going to absolutely have to shield up a potential Ice Punch. That would just about one-shot Dragonite uh, in the Great League format for sure. And they make a play into a Coffer Grigus. So just going to go for the Dragon Claw here. Um, this would do quite a bit to the very bulky um, Coffer Grigus. Dragonite hits like a truck. It is insane. Especially in this Great League format of 1500 CP. It is insane. Gonna let this go and look to come back in with Primeape and get ahead on energy. I'm gonna farm down the Ghost type with resisted counters. That is how powerful Primeape can be. It hits like a truck and they are thinking long and hard before they come in. They've got a Trevenant left in the back. Up a shield. Looking pretty good here. Gonna threaten some health or shield with a super effective Night Slash. They do shield so we're gonna stay in and pressure them to throw here. Um, this is just a seed bomb, but Primeape is not known for its bulk, so that does hurt quite a bit. We tank that and we go into Altaria. We know that they have a Metacham and they swap back into the low health Metacham. That just about sealed their fate because all we have to do is shield up the Ice Punch, which would do quite a bit of super effective damage, and farm the Metacham all the way down. We needed back-to-back -back Sky Attacks to seal the deal against the Trevenant. We, we are not afraid of a Shadow Ball. We tank one Shadow Ball, no problem. We get to the first Sky Attack. Of course, that gets the shield. And we had the second one. Locked and loaded for the Trevenant. We are going to say bye-bye, Trevenant. And that is going to be a good game. Well played to our opponent. It's been some time since I've used a dragon in the Great League formats, let alone two dragons. Um, I can't remember the last time I've used my Altaria, but here we go. Positive lead with a Greedent on the lead. I don't imagine they stay in. They safe swap into a Rangaroo, the new newest addition to Pokemon Go Battle League. We go into Altaria to play this out. We can beat a Rangaroo no problem in the Zero Shield, so... 
We are happy to play this out. Gonna tank whatever this is. Happens to be a psychic with stab, but Altaria is quite bulky. It tanks some damage and does not mind. It keeps on going. Gonna look to go for the sky attack here. It doesn't KO because Aranguru is pretty bulky itself, but the dragon breath do take it out enough to where we were close enough to a sky attack. They come in with a um, frost last, so we're gonna threaten that health with a sky attack and they look to farm all the way down with double super effective powder snows gonna come in with dragonite guys because this dragon breath really shreds and we know that dragonite is expendable uh our win condition lies with our primate knowing that they have a greedent in the back and this frost last is just about done all they had left was that Greedon, and Primeape was gonna put the beat down on that Greedon, and uh, they conceded the match. That's gonna be a good game. Well played. Man, I gotta tell you guys, I had a lot of fun with Double Dragons in the Retro Cup. Some, some teams are prepared for one dragon, but there are very few that are prepared for two, guys. And here we go. Neutral lead on a Hitmon. Hitmonchan Shadow, so gonna go into Dragonite and look to get the get ahead on energy against this Shadow. Hitmonchan, it can run all of the elemental punches. A lot of them are running Ice Punch. We're gonna shield that. That's a good shield there. That would have one shot for sure, coming from a Shadow Hitmonchan. And they make a play into a Shadow Ar 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 Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. <laughs> running Rock Throw, and um, they did shield up our Dragon Claw, so we're gonna come in. With our primate, we are resisting this fast move pressure. I'm not sure what else they have in the back. We don't want to go down on shields. We know that we can tank a resisted rock slide, but it still hurts coming from a shadow aerodactyl. That hurt quite a bit, but we do farm it down with neutral counters. We do have loaded energy. They are thinking long and hard on what to come in with. They come in with a gold bat. So we bank that energy just in case we needed it down the line and we make a play into our Altaria to play out this matchup against the gold bat here. This could be a shadow ball, but we tank the shadow ball. Not a problem from the shadow gold bat. Triple shadow team from our opponent. They come back in with the Hitmonchan. So... Just like with that Metacham in the first battle, going to shield up the Ice Punch and look to farm down so that we can have back-to-back -back Sky Attacks. Didn't even need the energy on that Primeape that we stored. That is how powerful Altaria is. It can put in the work for sure. And they tank the Sky Attack, so all we need to do is just farm down. We didn't even need the second one. That is insane. Altaria closing the game strong. That's going to be a good game. Well played to our opponent. Been having a blast in the Retro Cup. Definitely one of my all-time favorite specialty cups in Pokemon Go Battle League. Such a strong, balanced meta. And here we go. Terrible lead. But guys, this is why we run Ice Punch on our Primate. We're going to stay in here and try and get off an Ice Punch. We need to chunk some health from this Altaria. <clears throat> It will not one shot, but my goodness, will it come close and holy smokes, that is insane damage on a very bulky Pokemon from Primeape. And uh, we make an aggressive play into our own Altaria to look to farm down, but they do uh, preserve the Altaria and they come in with a Metacham. So they met us with a Metacham. Metacham definitely is not a solid answer to Altaria. It can hold its own. That's just how overpowered Metacham can be. But it's not a solid answer. So I'm reading that they may have a Deoxys in the back. If that's their best answer to Altaria, we're going to let it go down with the Ice Punch and look to come in and get way ahead on energy with our Dragonite. We're not going to be able to farm down from this range, but we will leave this with some energy. We're, we're going to have to throw a Dragon, um, dragon Claw. Um, this will KO. Dragonite hits extremely hard, and we're thinking that there may be a, the shield. So yeah, we're definitely thinking there's a Deoxys. So we catch the Ice Punch onto our Primeape, preserving that last shield on our Dragonite. Our Dragonite is still super healthy. Oh no, it's not a Deoxys. It's a Trevenant. <clears throat> Either way, we still hit for super effective with our Night Slash, and that does quite a bit. Holy smokes, Primeape is insane. And uh, Trevenant with no shields up against the Dragonite uh, is not, was not trending in the right direction for them. So they do concede the match. That's going to be a good game. Well played. Primeape on the lead was insane along with these two Dragons on this team, guys. Super fun team, but sneaky good as well. And here we go. 
not the greatest lead, but guys, like I was just saying, Primeape on the lead has amazing coverage. All you need is counter for your fighting type damage. That is how hard Primeape hits. Gonna go for the first Night Slash and try and CMP tie them to a potential Surf, but no, they want to over farm. Looks like they're going for the back to back, so we're gonna look to get off another uh, Night Slash. This could be a back to back Surf. That's what I was thinking it was, and they tanked that. So we tried to catch it onto our Altaria, but. <clears throat> We got a shield. We can't let our primate get too low. And it was a wild charge. That's an amazing shield. Holy smokes. And we both simultaneously swap. They had a Greedon in the back. Oh, man. They might have been running two Pokemon in the back. Weak to fighting. Maybe could have been a wall rain. We'll never know. Good game. Well played to our opponent. Double dragons was fun. I got to admit, guys. And uh, as far as Dragonite, if you're wondering if you can use the Shadow, of course, you can absolutely use the Shadow. Uh, both of them are ranked very close. Uh, the Shadow 76 and the non-Shadow is ranked 79. So kind of a toss up. Depends on your preference. But here we go. Another awful lead. We got an Altaria on the lead. So just like with that previous Altaria, going to look to chunk with a Ice Punch. And they always let it go through. That is insane. <laughs> Holy smokes. Primeape is a monster as we make a play into our own Altaria to look to farm down. We tank the Sky Attack. We tank that. No problem. There was no way that that was a Moonblast. And now the Altaria is gone. And they were thinking long and hard on what to come in with. They come in with a Shadow Machamp. So, okay. Um, what we're going to do is try and play out the One Shield scenario. Um, we're going to shield up the potential rock slide and they bait us with a cross chop. My goodness, but we're going to go for this uh, sky attack. They absolutely have to shield this if they want to hang on to the shadow machamp, but we are going to try our very best to get to one more sky attack to threaten that last shield or flip switch advantage with our Altaria. Let's see what they decide to do and they go down on shields to preserve the machamp. So we're making an aggressive play back into our primate to basically soak this damage because there's no reason for you to double shield shadow machamp unless you're weak to a dragon in the back and they are they've got a fire type shadow alolan canto nine tails shadow canto nine tails did not have a prayer against dragonite up a shield so they conceded the match that's going to be a good game well played to our opponent I definitely thought about using Shadow Dragonite, but you know, guys, I kind of like being able to hang in the battle for a little bit. Shadow Dragonite's a little squishy for my liking, but here we go. Jellison on the lead. Again, this is why Primate can be so effective with the coverage on its moveset. It is insane. Primate is so good for these specialty cups. They do hit us with a bubble beam. They didn't even build up to the Shadow Ball, so... We're going to go for this Night Slash. We have been debuffed, but Primeape hits so hard. And they shield, so we come in with Dragonite to get ahead on this Jellicent. This is just another Bubble Beam. That is okay. Jellicent players love to throw those Bubble Beams. That's quite all right. They come in with a Frostlass, so this is what this team is designed to do. Draw out the Ice type. Uh, it happens to be a Ghost Ice type and Frostlass, but that's okay. That is why we run Primeape with Night Slash as they farm us all the way down. They are loaded on energy. We're going to have to go down on shields. We got to get rid of this Frostlass. It is bad news, of course, for our Altaria. Um, so we're going to go down on shields to get rid of the Frostlass. Hoping, hoping like heck that there isn't another Ice type in the back. That would be disastrous for us. Gonna go for this first Night Slash. We do have back-to-back -back just in case they want a shield, but no, they let it go down. Gonna make an aggressive play back into Altaria as they come in with the Jellicent. We're okay. We know that this Jellicent's running Bubble Beam. Not likely that they're running Ice Beam as well. Uh, and it is the Shadow Ball. We can tank a Shadow Ball, no problem. Al Altaria is quite bulky, uh, which is why we were fine going down on shields. Gonna look to go for the Sky Attack, and it just about KOs the Jellicent as they make a play into a normal cast form. My goodness. Looks like our opponent was targeting flying dragons with this back line. Um, of course, uh, right, normal cast form does run uh, the rock weather ball, which does hit us for super effective. This is going to take us out, and it over farmed by quite a bit, and they are still up a shield. We cannot get to two moves. 
and uh, it does also run normal weather ball which does have stab and ouch that hurts they take us out my goodness they were planning ahead they were prepped for a flying dragon with that back line good game well played so as you can see outside of the hard counter teams that we often get um paired with this team does very well as long as it's not a mon for mon hard counter this team can definitely rack up the wins and it is tons of fun to use and here we go trevenant lead you could stay in but uh we decided to play this a little different we go right into altaria here we know that we can tank a shadow ball even from trevenant that is how bulky altaria is gonna tank this we don't care it's not a big deal we want to load up on energy and they meet us with a licky tongue all right i think licky tongue is still currently ranked number one on pv poke in the retro cup uh, gonna go for the sky attack doesn't do a whole lot of course licky tongue is about as bulky as a pokemon can get gonna let altaria go down this is why we have two dragons we wanted to draw out either a normal type or an ice type and guys just to put this into perspective this is how hard primate hits it's we're gonna farm down licky tongue not even metacham or scrafty can do that guys that is the power of primate farming down one of the bulkiest pokemon uh in pokemon go battle league that is the power of primate we got back-to-back -back night slashes gonna go for them back to back on the trevenant we get the shield that is amazing it wouldn't one shot but it would come very close gonna go for the second one and they double shield holy smokes so we're going in the dragonite dragonite we're thinking dragonite up two shields can sweep just about any game and they've got a deoxys in the back holy smoke guys all we are gonna do is shield up the potential rock slide it is the rock slide and we're going for this hurricane guys you're about to see how hard dragonite can hit even in its normal form and oh my god that nearly one shots one of the bulkiest pokemon around defense form deoxys that is insane our opponent said no way i am out of here they concede the match and that is the team guys what a way to close out the video my goodness dragonite closing the game like a champ nearly one shotting one of the bulkiest pokemon around that is insane so that is the team, guys. Double Dragon in the Retro Cup. You don't get much better. And uh, seeing how powerful this team is, you can kind of get an idea why Game Freak decided to add the Steel and Fairy types uh, as, the as the Pokemon series went on. <laughs> they had to provide something for the Dragon, uh, for the Dragons. You know, they had to balance it a little bit because... Dragons are so overpowered, guys. Dragon Breath with Stab is insane. And we could see that on display in these battles. What a fun team. So you lead with Primeape. We were targeting the Ice types with Primeape. Um, most notably, of course, Walrein. For sure, Walrein. Walreins are everywhere in this Retro Cup. But also the Frostlass as well, which although it does single resist our fast move pressure, it still adds up. And uh, we've got Night Slashes to hit those Frostlasses for super effective. Primate does outpace Frostlass to the super effective Night Slashes. It is not a bad matchup at all. Uh, so we were basically targeting those two Pokemon on the lead. You safe swap into Altaria. Sometimes I would safe swap into Dragonite. Um, if, if they're running a three turn move or higher, like Jellicent, I would safe swap into Dragonite just because you, you are much faster. And Dragonite does uh, hit a little bit harder than Altaria. Uh, but all other um, leads we safe swap into altaria to draw out that ice type or you know whatever whatever their best answer is to a dragon type and um you, once you once you do that you can either flip switch with altaria or come back in with primate setting up dragonite to have an amazing end game just like we saw in the last battle this team was tons of fun i had a blast guys i hope you all enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give the video a like you'd be really providing a massive help to the channel but again, guys, I had a blast. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, I thank you for watching and keep up the grind. Thank you, guys.